Welcome back to Midnight Digital Decay, September 12, 1609 AD. The Sea Venture, flagship of a fleet bound for the New English colony in Virginia, had battled storms for days before finding itself trapped in an unearthly calm, adrift in a region of the Atlantic known as the Sargasso Sea. Desperation gripped the crew as supplies dwindled and strange translucent creatures began to appear in the waters around them, glowing faintly in the night. On the evening of September 12th, the crew observed a vast spiraling vortex forming in the sky, a phenomenon they described as the Eye of the Abyss. The ship was slowly drawn toward it, despite the crew's frantic efforts to escape. As the vortex grew closer, the crew began to hear a low, humming resonance, a sound that seemed to vibrate through their very bones. The log entries spoke of a presence, a vast, unseen entity whose will they could not resist. As the sea venture was pulled into the vortex, the crew reported a vision of a great city beneath the waves, its spires and towers illuminated by a sickly green light, teeming with forms not of this world. Then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, the vortex vanished, and with it, the sea venture. The rest of the fleet, scattered and battered, searched for weeks, but found no trace of their flagship or its crew. Legends grew that the sea venture had been claimed by the sunken city, dragged into a hidden realm beneath the ocean, where ancient, unspeakable beings held dominion over all who strayed too close. September 12th, 1864 AD. The American Civil War had raged for years, and Cold Harbor had been the site of one of its bloodiest confrontations just months earlier. The battlefield, a place where thousands had fallen, was now a wasteland of shattered trees and scorched earth. On this day, Union soldiers stationed nearby reported a strange fog rolling in, thicker than any they'd seen before. As the fog enveloped the battlefield, all sound seemed to vanish, as if the world itself were holding its breath. The soldiers ventured into the mist, expecting to find the remnants of the brutal conflict, bodies, weapons, debris, but what they found instead was a field completely devoid of any trace of the battle. The ground was unmarked, as if the war had never touched it. Yet, there was something even more unsettling. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the soldiers claimed to hear distant whispers, voices speaking in a language none could understand. Panic set in. As some soldiers began to vanish into the fog, their cries for help swallowed by the thick, suffocating air. When the fog finally lifted, those who had entered the field were never seen again. The Union forces, shaken and superstitious, abandoned the area, declaring it cursed. To this day, the battlefield of Cold Harbor is avoided with locals claiming that on misty nights, the voices of the lost soldiers can still be heard, calling out from a place where the past and present no longer exist. September 12, 1888, A.D. Whitechapel, London, was already gripped with fear as the infamous Jack the Ripper stalked the fog-laden streets. But on this night, the terror took on a new dimension. As dusk fell, the sky over Whitechapel turned a deep, unnatural red, casting an eerie glow over the cobblestones. Witnesses described it as if the heavens themselves were bleeding. The air grew thick with the scent of iron and something else, something acrid and burning. Panic spread as the light seemed to draw people out of their homes, compelling them to gather in the streets, their eyes glazed over, entranced by the crimson sky. It was then that a figure appeared, a tall, gaunt man with eyes that reflected the blood-red light, moving through the crowd with an unnatural grace. Those who saw him claimed he whispered to them in a voice.
voice that bypassed the ears and spoke directly to their minds, filling them with visions of fire and torment. As he passed, people fell to the ground, convulsing, their skin paling to a deathly white. The figure vanished as suddenly as he had appeared, and with him, the red light faded, leaving the crowd dazed and terrified. The authorities baffled covered up the event blaming mass hysteria, but the survivors knew what they had seen. They whispered that the Ripper was no mere man but a harbinger, a servant of something far older and more malevolent, who fed on the fear and chaos of the human soul. The red sky of Whitechapel was never spoken of in official records, but those who witnessed it carried the memory like a scar, a reminder that sometimes the, the darkness isn't just in the alleyways, it's in the very air we breathe. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more of this content. It lets me know people enjoy it and motivates me to continue to create it for you all. If you haven't already, check out my link tree in the description for more esoterica.